first things first, rent a car. You will need it. That is the first piece of advice I'm going to give you. Then you drive down from the airport direction T-Bot. And guys, this was amazing. We were so awed by the views, the views, the views, the views. And it kept getting better. First stop was... Yeah. Sveti Stefan. Sveti Stefan. It is a town in the Budva municipality and it's basically an island and also you see this big Amman resort there. Unfortunately, we're not able to go into the little ancient town there, but the beach had pebble stones mm -hmm. there. Like it had, it's like a stone beach, clear water. Yes, this is one thing you always find in Montenegro, clear water. And I love the time there. We took nice pictures. Definitely we will we'll recommend, but if you're not going to the resort, you're not going to see a lot. So that was the first stop in Uba. So from there, we continued to Tibat. Our accommodation was in Tibat, and we chose Tibat because Tibat is close to Kotor, Perast, and most of the things we wanted to do, like Setinje and the other towns, were closer to Tibat. We're not really interested in Budva. So, as I said earlier, the views, the mountains, you cannot get enough of that. Montenegro is really all about mountains. So yes, this is us in Tiba. We went to the promenade. Yeah. They have this marina where they have these high-end shops. And this place is called Mon Porto Montenegro. So it's like the port. And it is so nice. We had dinner on our last evening here. So stay um, with me to the end of the video to see how this place was. The food was amazing and the prices are so good. So this is us the next day in Kotor. I just parked the car, got some lunch, and we decided to explore the place on foot. It was very, very hot. It was third week in May. Hey guys! Very, very hot. Today and is day yes, two. Let me just tell you guys we what I'm telling. We are you. in. We are going to Kotor. We just had lunch, and the traffic is so bad. We actually faster than the cars on foot. Like we are on foot, and we are faster than them. But yes, it's been amazing so far. The food here is so good. And it's giving me Ghana vibes, Ghana vibes in Europe, you know, actually really cool. And uh, yeah, so that's us walking by the cars. Let me show you. You can actually walk on the road, nobody will say anything. That's how, how it is. But I don't like this car because it makes me feel like it's gonna be a creeper. Yeah, they don't stop at a zebra crossing either. But I'm far close. <laughs> 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 down two older men because they were staring the person was just staring at us 
Nee, ich meine, jetzt hat sie jetzt noch einen zweiten noch zusammenscheißen müssen. Also so, zwei. Ja. Also the first one was one man and three ladies. Just, you know, gossiping about us. And he just confronted me. He's like, is everything okay? Let us know. Is there anything you need to know? And then they were quite embarrassed. And just as we were walking up, this older guy was just staring, staring, staring. So I think I know used to mix couples here. And generally, even yesterday, they were staring at me like the whole time. I've gotten used to it really quickly. <laughs> I don't even think about it anymore. But I've been enjoying this place. They have beautiful landscape, nice turquoise, blue water, clear, everything. And they give you great big portions of food. Like I'm, I've been full. Yesterday I only had one meal. I didn't eat again. It's probably going to be the same today. Yeah. So that's it so far. And now we're going to Tayas and and that city. We get an offering. Tayas. Hetzegnovi. Exactly. Hetzegnovi. So we we'll keep you guys updated and see how it goes over there. But so far, so good. Gele? 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 That's not what they was a vibe it was nice there was a wedding in that church that day so we couldn't see everything but it's a beautiful island like two little islands with buildings on it Hetzeg Novi was nice but we didn't spend so much time there because it was quite deserted and the weather wasn't playing along as you can see the sun was gone and it seemed like a storm was coming up so we decided to just drive back um, direction T-Bat. Wow. This oh restaurant is my favorite. I'm going to put the name on the screen. Check them out. You will not regret it, okay? Affordable prices, great food, great quality of meat, and ah, the enjoyment. See enjoyment. Welcome to Montenegro, Richard. Real chichinga. Sorry, we couldn't wait. 
Mm. Most of it is gone. Never been there. Mach mal richtig. So the Monday, the next day, happened to be the National Independence Day for Montenegro and we were so fortunate to experience it with them in Setinje and that is when I got to understand that people were staring because they were not used to seeing black people and they were also not used to seeing mixed couples and they were so warm we took so many pictures with them they asked me for pictures and of course i delivered so we went to this high mountain where the um, independence father like one of the fighters was buried and that's it over there guys so that that was quite an experience and they have a very strong sense of nation like nationalism and patriotism and it was nice to see the roads driving in montenegro is not for the faint-hearted these are the best ones there are some that you have to stop and wait for the truck to pass by sometimes people are driving too fast and all of that so be please be careful but first enjoy this one <laughs> has been going well today is um sunday the 20th of may and we didn't know it was the independence day here and it's been so nice so we, we are in Satinje for Satinje and it is so beautiful here the city has a totally different vibe and it used to be the, the capital so it's not like the cultural capital we got gas it's 149 per liter so definitely if you want to do um car like car renting it's worth it you should come before things get more expensive actually and food here is cheap gas is cheap and initially when we went to Koto yesterday people were staring and we didn't know why but then we came to Setinje and because they are celebrating and they have like this communal thing i'm going to the um the the footage somewhere either before or after this part um they are more open they actually walk up to me can i have a picture with you and i realize now it's it's because they stare so much at 
dark skin people because they don't have the exposure with them like they don't they are not used to seeing black people in their country when you go for service they are very friendly you'll get compliments sometimes they'll, they'll tell my partner you're lucky man she's beautiful so yeah so i think i'm just going to relax when i see people staring and know that they are just not exposed and even the kids will walk up to me and say they want a picture with me so they are just not used to having black people in their country so if you want to have the celebrity status definitely come here on days that they have something going on so they are going to break the ice picker and hang out with you okay and yes so they walk up to you as well if they want to sell something they are not shy about that apart from that yes and yes um once they see that you're not from here which in my case is very obvious it's always english and then they'll ask you whether you're from a different country as well for some reason they'll also ask me if i speak german so i think it's a normal thing here but yeah that's it so far and uh, it's a big contrast to our experience in kotor so it was good Did you yeah, and another, <laughs> another thing is they you can they can help you like do the like catching your gas. But in Germany we do it ourselves, so obviously he did it himself and he was not happy. But yeah. Yeah, they don't they have the tank rods. In Germany, there's no more tank rods. Another difference, and yeah. See you guys in Kavas. Yes, we came back. I had to come back. I didn't want to eat any other thing but the grill platter from this restaurant. So we came back. <laughs> Yes, it was met at work at 8.15 p.m. There's a lot of construction going on, so it's possible that wherever your accommodation is, you see people building houses, hostels, Airbnbs, whatnot, and that was our experience. Gun, you get the drifts. <laughs> <laughs>